Often people ask me, how does the court distribute assets and liabilities in the dissolution of marriage proceedings? Florida is an equitable distribution state. Equitable does not mean equal. While it's most common for assets and liabilities to be divided equally between the parties, there are justifications for the court to determine that an unequal distribution of assets or liabilities should be granted to one party or the other. Some of those factors include the duration of the marriage, the contributions that one party made to that marriage, or the contributions that one party made to the other party's uh, career or um, education. There's also the consideration of whether one party has intentionally dissipated marital assets, wasting assets, hiding assets in knowledge that there may be a divorce to ensue. For these reasons, the court may decide that one party should have more than 50% of the assets or be responsible for more than 50% of the liabilities. When it comes to equitable distribution, determining what the marital assets are is the first step. Generally, assets acquired during the marriage are marital assets, regardless of how they are titled. There are exceptions to this rule, however, for example, inheritance. Inheritance acquired by one party may be maintained as their non-marital asset. However, they need to make sure to protect it properly. There can be concerns that that non-marital asset will be converted to a marital asset and their spouse will be entitled to an interest therein. If you have concerns regarding the distribution of your assets, protecting your assets, an attorney may be very helpful in these complicated matters. Thank you.